Tomorrow marks 20 years since the September 11th attacks, and right after they happened, Fort Wayne raised money for New York City by selling bumper stickers. Our Jeff Newmeyer traveled with the Fort Wayne police and fire chiefs to New York City to deliver that check. And tonight, Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Corinne Rose takes a look back with Jeff and with former police chief Rusty York. It was my generation's Pearl Harbor, basically. Former Fort Wayne Police Chief Rusty York says for two weeks after planes hit the World Trade Center, first responders here sold I'm Heartbroken for New York bumper stickers to raise money. At the invitation of the Port Authority Police, York and then Fire Chief Tim Davey went to Manhattan to present a check on a network morning show for about $40,000. They were our uh, hosts. They'd lost 47 officers. Uh, at the World Trade Center. York believes the Fort Wayne delegation was the first from outside of New York to be granted access to the still burning Ground Zero. We're at the checkpoint, and even though we were in a, a police vehicle, still uh, the mirrors were run underneath the vehicle to make sure there wasn't anything underneath, only authorized people in and out of that zone. He remembers being amazed at how hot the core of the rubble was and how terrible the scene was. I had my dress uniform on, and I remember I thought at first I had dandruff, you know, we had navy blue uniform, in, but it was ash still circulating and falling. And to think that not only the rubble, but the bodies of these victims, I mean, that's still circulating. Really an eerie setting. Our Jeff Newmeyer and photographer Rob Anderson went to Ground Zero with York and Davey. It was something that really kind of got to you a little bit, obviously. Uh, our nation was already... Uh, uh, very upset about what had happened and to be able to visit that scene like that so close up, it, it, uh, it took you a little bit, took you by surprise, I think, really the emotions. York says amid the deafening noise of all the construction equipment, periodically the site would fall completely silent. When they would find any remains at all, they would ring a bell and everybody at the site would just stop what they're doing and everybody was perfectly quiet while they would remove whatever remains they found. York says amid those moments, commanders were already thinking ahead about the aftermath that the Ground Zero workers would face. Our counterparts saying, you know, the, these people are going to get sick. A lot of these people are going to get sick just because of the environment. And just hundreds of people, you know, have gotten very ill and died. York has been to the Flight 93 Memorial in Pennsylvania and says he hopes one day to visit the 9-11 Memorial at Ground Zero. Corinne Rose, Fort Wayne's NBC. Corinne, thank you so much for that story and especially to Chief York.